Greetings, I'm Charles, I'm 55 years old, I'm 6'1 when I'm fully assembled and weigh about 230 pounds. Today I'm going to talk about recharging the uh, C-Leg 4 prosthetic leg. And that is this guy here. Now, the C-Leg 4 is in reference to the part from basically the knee, and that's what makes this what it is, is the knee portion of it. Uh, down to the foot. So this part right here is the sea leg four. The foot can be any number of different feet and the socket can be any number of different sockets. So if um, you see a leg that looks different than this, it's this part that counts. Alrighty, as I said, this has to do with recharging this leg or initially charging this leg. One of the things I discovered is that you have to go online through a maze of click-throughs, 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 and really, to, and it, it's an attempt to really find the um, the directions on how to charge this. I did find some stuff online that was not particularly helpful to me in any case, as far as um, you know, videos of how to recharge these legs. And uh, for my purposes, one of the reasons that I'm so concerned about recharging them is my very first leg, uh, apparently, as it turns out, I had a defective battery. So I got very interested in how to recharge this because I was assured that there's nothing wrong with this, with this leg, you know. So I spent several months trying to figure out how to charge this and how to charge it properly. Okay, so I'm going to show how to accomplish that feat. Um, First of all, when uh, you get the C Leg 4, it should have come with an adapter and uh, a charger plug adapter, which comes, there's the charger along in line somewhere. There should be a little capsule that's got uh, indicator lights on it. And the first thing, as we want to do with any expensive electronic device, is we want to have it plugged into a device that has a surge protector on it. You do it with your computer, your laptop, anything that's expensive um, type of electronics. So that's what we have here. I've got one of these strips that's got a surge protector. This thing will cut off if there's you know something lightning strike, whatever, any number of things. And I'd suggest that uh, you never plug this into one of those little lightweight type uh, extension cords. Those are totally inadequate for any kind of electronics. Uh, you know, you, there could be potential damage involved with that. So, definitely want to spend the uh, time and effort to hunt one of these out or, you know, something comparable. Alrighty. Now, according to the directions that I found, the charger can be left plugged in all the time, whether the prosthesis is plugged in or not. So if you're plugging and unplugging this thing in every day, you can leave the charger plugged in. <clears throat> now this, there's a little flat back here with a little door and there's a special plug and it's for me it's very difficult to plug in and out because it's just um, got a really weird uh, awkward positioning and I've been told that that's not too terribly uncommon, that sometimes people have a problem getting that in. But uh, there's, there's little rubber flaps, so once it's unplugged, definitely want to snap that closed so to keep any of the water or moisture out. This module right here has this green light, which just basically the green light indicates that the uh, charger is plugged in. Now there's a light here that, uh, that is turned off now. And what that's indicating, it's plugged into the prosthesis, what that's indicating is that this prosthesis uh, is fully charged. Now it does have different indicators for the level of how charged it is. So once this has been used for a day and it's being taken off at night or before you go to bed or something of that nature, and you plug this in, you'll get, probably get uh, one of two different indicators. After you've been wearing it all day, you're not likely to have it where the light has gone all the way out because you've used, you know, it's been used some, and the 
their battery has been discharged. So the next level is basically anything that's less than 50% charged. I mean, uh, uh, it's down to 50% charge, anywhere between 100% charge and 50% charge, there'll be a blinking light. And uh, anything under 50% charged, you know, to totally discharge, is going to be a solid light, and that's a red light, both of the blinky light and uh, um, solid light. So that shows the level of, of the uh, charge that's still in the prosthesis. Now, when you plug this thing in and unplug this, there is a distinct audible and vibration that you probably wouldn't be able to hear or tell on the video, but when I unplug it, it'll usually go... I, I don't know if you could hear that, but it went... Uh, it had a little bit of vibration and a couple of soft beeps involved with that. And the same thing happens when it's plugged in when you charge it. And that just lets you know that uh, you have a good connection or uh, you don't have a good connection, whatever. So that's good in charge. One of the other things I like to point out with this prosthesis, with this system, c like 4, is that now this is unplugged. So basically this thing is on all the time. So if I put this on, and wear it all day today and all day tomorrow then it's going to use up a charge if I don't wear it all day today the rest of the day today and all day tomorrow it's still going to use a charge it may well not use as much of a charge I haven't done any experiments on that to be able to tell you know since I've got a good battery in here so you can't just charge this thing up and leave it for a day or two days and expect it to be fully charged just because it was fully charged the last time it was used. So you want to keep that in consideration. And uh, this thing, the battery, as I've read, is rated for 16 miles of walking in any given day for two days. So theoretically, you should be able to charge this one day and walk for 16 miles that day, let it set overnight, and the next day be able to walk another 16 miles before uh, it's discharged, uh, the battery's discharged, so it should function as it's supposed to up to that point. Um, now when it is getting close to the end of a charge, it does give a warning, a couple of uh, beeps and vibrations. If you're wearing it when this happens, it feels funny, kind of like uh, you'd imagine it would feel uh, with your telephone on vibrate and it's in your pocket how that feels this guy does the same thing around around the leg and uh, that's supposed to mean that there's only about 30 minutes of charge left on it so you need to prepare for that eventuality the last thing about charging and uh, setting up this leg and I found the most difficult <clears throat> is finding a convenient place excuse me <coughs> is actually finding a convenient place to plug this in where it's also out of the way. So I want to be able to plug it in and, and take it off and be able to put it on where, you know, where I can reach it, but at the same time I want it to be out of everybody else's way. Now that's been the hardest thing about this whole process, to being able to find a place uh, to, to accomplish that. So hopefully that information is helpful to you for charging the C-Leg 4.